Good morning, children. Welcome to another exciting time with JCM Kids. How was your summer holiday? Have you been having fun? Going out? Playing? I have too. It's been a lovely summer, even though we've been stuck at home. Did you enjoy our Faith Heroes series? Learning about people like Joshua and how Peter was a hero. It was a wonderful time. Today, it's a totally different lesson. But before we get into the lesson, what do we do? What do we do? We're going to say a prayer. That's how we get into our lesson. So what do we do? We go one and a two and we put our hands together and we pray. Are your eyes closed? Okay. I'm going to check and see if your eyes are closed. I can see you. Now let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for the opportunity to be here with you, to learn from you, um, to speak to you freely without any threat of persecution. Father Lord, we thank you for being alive. We thank you for providing for us. We thank you for keeping us safe. We thank you, Lord, for good health, for the gift of life, love, family. Father Lord, as we are about to go into your word, we ask, oh God, that you help us to do very, very good listening today and teach us of you. And when we learn, help us to do what the Bible says. In Jesus' name, amen. So, who said that prayer with me? Today's lesson is going to be about good listening. We are going to learn something amazing. It's the parable of the wise and the foolish builder. You might be asking, what's a parable? A parable is just a big word for story. Sometimes even big people don't understand the things that Jesus was trying to say. So Jesus would say it in a story and at the end of the story, they would learn a lesson and that's what a parable is. So um, before we do that, who wants to have a song and a dance? Who's going to sing and dance with me? What song are we going to sing and dance to? Um, I'll let you find out. Let's see. such a wonderful message the bible we stand alone on the word of god the b i b l e and that is your bible so now remember what i said about the parable it's our story it's time for us to go and do good listening but better still good looking Look and try and imagine what the story is trying to tell you because I am going to ask you questions and I know you're all so clever. You will give me the right answers. Go on, let's go have our story now.
what a powerful story. And there were no words, but you did good listening, didn't you? Time for Auntie's questions. Did both men have an instruction on where to build their house? Did they? Yes, they did. At the beginning, there was a plan carved on the tree. It said, build on the rock, yes. Build on the sand, no. And that's what the Bible is. The Bible is how God gives us instructions on what to do, how to do things to stay safe and to be happy. But somebody didn't listen to the instructions, did he? The first man went, and he built his house on the rock, just like the instruction did. Now, when the rain came down and the flood came up, who was scared? One of the men was very worried and he was scared. You're right. It was the man who built his house on the sand. And what happened to his house? His house went splat. It was gone. Sometimes when we make plans and we do things and we do not listen to what the Bible says, our plans go splat. Did you see how fast that was? Like that. Ah, ah. Yeah, it just goes splat. So what did we learn? We should always listen to our mommies and daddies who try to keep us safe, listen to what the Bible says, and always do what the Bible says. Now what are we gonna do now? It's time for our memory verse. Let me see if somebody's going to guess what the memory verse is. Happy are those who hear God's word and do it. Luke eleven twenty eight. That was such a wonderful time in God's presence. I can't believe it. It's, it's all over, but it's not because everywhere you go, you take God with you. God will be with you all through the week until we meet again. But before we go, who is going to promise me they're going to scroll all the way down, do some coloring, do some painting, email it to me, let me see it, um, and I might just display it next week. It's going to be a fantastic week. So let us say a quick prayer before we leave. And what do we do when we want to pray? We our hands together we put our hands together and we close our eyes father lord we thank you for a wonderful time in your presence we thank you for the opportunity to learn we thank you lord for teaching us about listening to your instructions so that we can stay safe and we can you know grow and learn and become good people father lord receive our thanks in jesus name as we go on in the week, as we go on to prepare to start school, we ask that you go with us. We ask that you keep us safe in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Until next time, it's us here at JCM Kids. Toodles. <laughs>